welcome back to episode 49 of the Camping Buddies podcast, joined by Kelly, Hector, Alyssa. Uh, this one is super heavily focused on whatever the hell uh, Hector has for topics, because he wrote the most. Hector, go ahead. I wrote all of them. No one else proposed any other ideas. I put one. You put one about two minutes ago. Yep. Uh <laughs> Um, okay, well, first of all, there was the threat of the government shutdown. Um, everyone's aware of that, but I just learned that it's actually not happening. Yeah, it didn't happen. They pushed it back a little. Yeah, it's, it was uh, literally like like Biden signed something, made a law or some shit, that, and the law just basically states that, hey, give them a little bit more time. They got this. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally it's like it. emergency funds or something. Like that, I don't fucking know politics. It's when they, yeah, it's when they don't have enough money to keep it going for funding, but um, they could negate that by just do emergency funding. That's why we're in debt. Maybe. Well, there's a lot of reasons, but yeah, that's probably why. There's a lot of reasons. Yeah. Um. I so I learned this from the bikini bottom fish guy. Uh, he said breaking, breaking news. news. He's an amazing source of news. He's a reliable <laughs> source. Mm-hmm. Uh, he didn't entirely say, like, in terms at least that I could understand, like, why everything was happening. So I looked into it, and it was because, like, well, according to Ash, this is how she worded it for me because I'm stupid. She said that Republicans made a bill, but worded it to make it sound like a Democrat made the bill. So the Republican Party tried to deny the bill, their own bill. Which bill? I have no fucking idea, but that's where the the turmoil is, is where it's like, oh, E. I'm like, I don't understand anything of what was just said, but that sounds like a goofy moment. I I thought it was just like, they can't agree on funding for the country. No fucking idea. I'm just um, telling you what I was told. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure either if it's hand in hand with that same, like with the government shutdown. But I saw a bunch of videos of uh, AOC and a couple other like big uh, Democratic people talking about um, Biden being impeached. I think they were doing a vote on impeaching Biden the yeah. other day. So and... they were just sorry. No, you can go ahead. I don't actually know a lot about it. Um, I was watching the live stream as it happening. Uh, I was like, all the members of Congress were out talking about it, mm-hmm. and I guess their only defenses for Biden to stay in power because there's something to do with him and his son doing foreign exchanges and bribes and stuff like that, very illegal stuff. So, um, everyone was like, facts, 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 and then. From what I've heard on the other side, it was like, well, can you blame a dad for loving his son? <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> your son yeah. literally is like doing uh, sex trafficking and Ooh. hitting the fucking crack pipe. Jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Um, the only person I trust on that thing is AOC, and I don't even know why, but she just seems reasonable and truthful and so from the clips i saw all of the evidence that the republican party had presented were a bunch of text exchanges between uh hunter and joe no jim biden not joe biden but his uncle (laughs) yeah and um aoc said that all of those texts were fabricated and that we're missing out a bunch of context so really we don't know I mean, I, I'm gonna be real. wouldn't wouldn't fucking put it past it. Like the last few right. fucking candidates we've had have not been good ones. Like yeah. she 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 said that um, in the court, the only people that were under oath were the eyewitnesses, and none of them said that Biden broke any laws. But I don't know if they were even like relevant to the case. But the Republican Party brought them up. You know what? I don't actually know enough. 
This is why we don't talk about politics. I have literally no fucking idea what we're talking about right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Anyway, long story short, government almost shut down, didn't shut down, Republicans, Mm -hmm. president, shit like that. You know, what's next? Uh, What's next? We've got a solar eclipse coming up, guys. Isn't that exciting? Which one Mm -hmm. is that? Is that where, like, the moon covers the sun? Yeah, so like it'll be like black, like Avatar. Yeah. Um, it's only gonna be, it's gonna be a different kind of eclipse. Though, yeah. Right? So it's not total. It's like when the moon is fully in front of the sun, there's like a really thin ring of the sun around the moon. Make sure to stare at it. Yeah. To we'll get do the best mileage for it. Yes. <laughs> Very good idea. Um, the moons have been acting pretty weird. We got like a crazy full moon, like a super moon, and then we got a full moon after it. It's like, damn, mm-hmm. so many moons. A lot of moons. Jesse's, lot of moons. Jesse stays up to date with like all this shit. Like he knows about like meteor showers, comets, fucking, you know, space news. Where he knows a lot of space news. I don't know what it is. No, I haven't actually seen the telescope he randomly fucking bought in a while. I'm sure he said that. I think it's pointing sucks. at your window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. But uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I remember like the other side of that eclipse, like a like a different eclipse, like years and years ago. We were in like high school or something, and like the entire sky went went orange, mm-hmm. and like everything felt like quiet and like radiated or something like it felt weird apocalypse yeah it yeah. kind of gives like justification what the mayans did to carve out hearts and stuff you know right they were like god like the fucking sun's angry right now it's turning black quick where's the baby where's, where's the baby <laughs> <laughs> why that came out of fucking no is kelly's just been wanting an excuse to like talk about the mayans and he's like oh that's <laughs> perfect <laughs> I do have a little notes, Hector, but yeah. um, it's cool. I remember uh, doing like the little uh, the box thing, getting a big old head in the box and staring mm-hmm. at the circle. Mm-hmm. Which, well, actually, no. Some of them did that, and then some of them brought like welding goggles, but those aren't like they don't protect under a certain thing. So some people went blind or something. <laughs> I mean, Not you stare school, at the sun, around. like you're gonna be I think fired. I just looked right at it. At least for a second. Gotta get a just picture a of second. it. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to go blind and then see one last thing, I think an eclipse could be kind of cool. That's, that's like a topic like in and too. of itself. You're like, king, done. <laughs> king, <laughs> that's one for the memories. Yeah. yeah. If you, uh... If you were to go blind after seeing something, what would be worth that to you? Titties. The eyes of God. Something crazy like that. <laughs> Jesus. From one side of the spectrum Literally. to the other, just fucking Alyssa. My cat. My cat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my what? god. Your cat. Your cat? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Alan, I guess. Hmm? She's like blind petting. <laughs> oh you God. live with your cat. <laughs> He's burned in my brain and I'm going to have it the rest of my life. You know, I'm going to be able to touch his face. It'll be fine if I'm blind. Uh, she was going to die. <laughs> Wait, you've had her for 17, 18 years? 18 That's years not is enough. not enough. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Fucking cat. You're obsessed with your dog. Your cat's gonna live long enough to see the end of One Piece. <laughs> That'd be crazy, actually. She I might outlive from... me, guys. <laughs> I hope so. What are you trying to say? Well, got the toaster ready? <laughs> yeah. Got the toaster ready? <laughs> Jesus, the eyes of no, God and titties. Um, <laughs> if they said thighs. No, he said the eyes of God. Or the thighs of God. I literally thought you said thighs of God. I was like, hell yeah. Thighs of God. God is a woman. 
hairy, <laughs> chunky old man no, thighs. Or... I'm sure. I'm sure God's thighs are like accurate, voluptuous. Yeah, it's after his own image, so I know he's humanoid. We're made after his own image, so I guess he is humanoid. So he would have thighs. But would you say that like there's a possibility that God's a velociraptor? Or... I think he's like a flying spaghetti monster. I remember doing a whole thing about the flying spaghetti monster uh, religion. That was wild. That's that's a real thing. Oh my god! Yes, here, wait. Let me read you uh, their prayer. Uh, one sec. It's like a spoof religion that you can put yeah. on your driver's license. <laughs> and you have to wear like oh, a god. colander on your head or something. <laughs> Okay, here we are, here we are. Our pasta, who art in colander, draining be your noodles. Thy noodle come, thy sauce be yum, on top be some grated parmesan. <laughs> Give us this day our garlic bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trample on our lawns. Raw men. <laughs> <laughs> mm, raw men. This... Are you, so you're saying this is a legitimate This religion? is a legitimate thing, yeah. They're, so uh, followers of the flying spaghetti monster, um, they wear like strainers on their head. There's a whole thing about this. Like daily? Like regular life? No, like it's not like it's a spoof religion, like I said. Like they made it to like show how stupid religion is, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll send it in... Uh, oh. It's going to be really weird, but I'll send it in media. There he is. My big balls oh. are in the sky. He's <laughs> got two balls. Well, four, I guess. Yep. Uh, that was... That's our history. I used to read that fucking uh, if you just look up flying spaghetti monster religion like you actually see pictures of people wearing the strainers too there's an entire thing where people are just wearing like the like expandable strainers <laughs> no, I, I don't think I want to get into this real bitch this, dude this is the up. thumbnail right here I, I'm taking oh I'm God. running with this are you kidding me <laughs> um this is gonna be my recommended now. I'm not looking it <laughs> <laughs> It's just making me think like how past civilizations, you know, had their gods and like in today's world we like learn about them. Just think like a hundred, five hundred years from now, people are looking back, looking at all the gods that we worship today. Flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> I just wonder like, like the where they all are now? today. Like what when did they hang up their strainers, you know? They never did. They never hang did. up their strainers. They, they have to be buried with their strainers. To go to noodle heaven. heaven. Can you imagine to go to noodle? Can you <laughs> get lost in the sauce. <laughs> Thy sauce be yum. <laughs> On top be some grated parmesan. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> fuck. I don't even know where to go for that. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. You think they'll teach about Scientology in school? In like they're the they're not even like allowed to no. teach religion in general unless it's like an actual. Okay, but they talk school. about religion oh, like talk religion. about like oh yeah, there was this wise man, five foot two, did his own stunts. He was a Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise. He had a gorgeous smile, and he was Top Gun. Doesn't he have a tooth in the center of his face? Yes, three teeth. Yeah. Is it three, mm -hmm. or is it like a gap? I can't remember. No, it's just his big teeth are shifted. Yeah. His center teeth are shifted. Yeah. Alan has the same thing. Does he have a nice smile? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Cute. Uh, he's gonna have to smile with his lips closed in the wedding photos. 
<laughs> he's like, see, you won't like, even be able to see it. <laughs> I mean, it is his wedding, you know. He's had to abide by that. Um, yeah. Then's the rules. Then's the rules. Yeah. You're funny. What do Scientologists actually believe in? It's like a fairly like evolution. It's it's literally just like their religion is literally just like textbooks. I think it's no, a lot because more why is their religion toxic and concerning then? If it's it, just science. So there's this like, oh, we're better than everybody else because we don't believe in God, we believe in science. But you could also just say that, but they decided to make an entire church around science. Seems mm -hmm. like a big money scheme. A lot it of is. rich celebrities yeah. are Scientologists. Yeah. They, they started with Tom Cruise. Good. They they kill a, a uh, virgin uh, every year, and they bathe in the blood. Science. Okay. You ever seen the movie The Witch? Anya Taylor-Joy? <laughs> They grind up that baby. And she wipes it on her broom, and that's what they do. I've never heard of this movie in my life, but I reckon... <laughs> they grind that shit. How old I'm is this not movie, Kelly? Not that old. If it's if it's that old, sixteen. Yeah. She's pretty young. Okay, you had me for a second, Kelly. I I just thought that I thought this was an old movie. You know, I just thought it was another Kelly moment. <laughs> Yeah, it I'm is not, another uh, Kelly moment. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's 2016. Definitely not the 80s. <laughs> no. Wow, we, um, we really went off on a tangent. What was next? <laughs> you tend to do that. Hector, this is your show, so what next? This is my show. Um, well, first of all, I want to say that this eclipse is going to be on the day of our Joji concert. That's um, so well-timed. I just... Imagine if that he plays Daylight. Happy. Right? <laughs> but the Eclipse, it's going to be at noon. Kelly, I don't think you're going to be able to see it all that well, though, since you're on the East Coast. Yeah, it's mostly on the West. Yeah. You've seen one, you've seen them all. No, nah, this, this one's supposed to be, like, more rare. I guess. They say that about a lot of things, though. So they say that about a lot. Like, I feel like in my lifetime, there's been, like, five blood moons. Yeah, that's what big yeah. big eclipse wants you to think. Yeah. Big eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> big space. <laughs> that's what Pluto wants you to think. Imagine yeah. being a planet and then not being a planet. What a fucking loser. <laughs> fucking Pluto. Fucking Pluto. No um, Pluto slander here, okay? Fuck Pluto. Fuck Pluto. Did you visit it in Starfield? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck if That's I know, man. I have no idea. What's um, next, Hog? Okay. Um, the metaverse. You guys know the metaverse, right? Is there any update on it or something? Or is it just like you wanted to talk um, about the metaverse? Well, there's this one pretty cool thing, I think, that I saw recently. Um, so I think it's a new update or something they're working on with the metaverse. So you know how they have like the headset when you're in the metaverse there Can't was this off. yeah well so i think it's like their glasses and zuckerberg and some other guy they were testing out this new program they're working on or like when you're in the metaverse you can do interviews or like face-to-face -face interactions and it's like rather than a cartoony avatar it's like actually you and it feels like you're actually like standing face to face in person. No. Uh. It just sounds like FaceTime with the glasses. Yeah, I think people would. There's more sophisticated ways to do that. I think. I th I think like, it's a meta step towards um Ready Player One type VR. Towards the oasis. Okay, okay, okay. But we... it reminds me of like the Star Wars like holograms, maybe. That's what I was saying. Like, metaverse. The whole time. Yeah. Like I don't think metaverse is gonna be what it's trying to be. I it's always not... viewed it as like a discount, like it's like a high ambition but low discount VR chat. I was gonna and... say it's literally just VR chat. <laughs> it's and... like okay, guys, 
sorry. Everything about it just seems like it's just uh, for money, you know? Like, that. that's what they talked about when they were promoting at the beginning, that you can buy, like, space in the metaverse and do what you want with it and have people visit it. And it's just a, another way for them to make money. Like, that's yeah. all it is. And it's just yeah. VR with extra steps and a paywall. Seriously. Yeah, I don't... I'm not, like, encouraging metaverse itself. I just think that the whole face-to-face thing is, like, a pretty cool step towards something potentially in the future. I think something... Do you guys think something like the Oasis would fuck up, like, humanity? Oh, absolutely. It did in the movie, so... (laughs) It kind of did. It did. Everyone was living in shanty towns. Yeah. Um, Easily, people are stopped gonna care about their surroundings like the actual reality of like just running yeah. right that's what yeah. does it matter when you stick on the mask you want to be like that guy in the cyberpunk show the 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 fleshlight diaper you oh, don't want oh that. right yeah i was like huh i was like oh mm. <laughs> he's gooning in the metaverse right now he's at a business meeting you I don't want to be like that guy i think like he's loving it though well, like, okay, so the end of really Ready happy. Player One, they made <laughs> sure that people would start going outside because the Oasis would be closed, like, on Tuesdays or something. But that was yeah. one guy's decision. If a corporation was doing that, it's like, dude, you need to log into Metaverse, like, now to get your... Uh, yeah, no, Zuckerberg and the Lizard it. people are going to have a paywall anyways. Like, the Oasis was free. You want, like, if, if the Oasis was a real thing, you want it to be closed every now and then, because you are either, your kid, there are some fucked up kids out there right now, I'll tell you what, there are some fucked up kids out there, if they had access to the Oasis, they'd be so much more fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. I feel Did like the Oasis- in the VR chat? Mm-hmm. They're, like, heading into, like, these adult areas, like, um, the drinking. They're like doing the shot game. And it's like, I'm 12 years old. I just snuck into my mom's pantry. Oh, oh, Jesus. When me and Alyssa played VR games. chat, we just dressed up like Maui and started walking up to people and saying, hey, brother. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I'm at a fucking point where I can do my skins in it. I just have to have another fucking, like, I have to put time clocked into it, which I don't. I'm ready. Sure. Like, I have a whole fucking thing with Unity where I can import it, like. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah, Unity, Unity. We can't talk about her anymore. And talk about Unity. We don't talk. Yeah, let's not talk about her anymore. Um, Unity. Uh, Unity. Well, y- you'd probably be better at explaining it, Kelly. So Unity was a open source uh, game developing software. It was free uh, before they added um, something with the so. They implemented something to where every time your game gets downloaded, you get charged two cents. And that was like causing so much stir and so much panic within the community. They just stopped using Unity altogether or they're porting it into another uh, engine. So, but they're like, oh, uh, sorry, guys. It's only for people who um, who are now, like after the implication, that's what you're getting charged. People who are already working on the game or have games, you guys aren't going to be affected. It's like, Tough shit, bitch. You're out. Greedy fucking people. Two cents? So say, like, someone pirates your game. Like, good, like, 10,000 people pirate your fucking game. You're done. You're in debt. To Unity? Get fucked. Yeah. Like, that was, that was basically what uh, I heard heard had happened as well. That's why a lot of developers just stopped using it. Pretty sure FNAF was also made on Unity. At least, like, the first one. I could be wrong. Those are so easy to make. You can do that in Godot. The Godot engine. I don't even know what that one is. Oh. I'm in, I'm in, the, in, the, in the, the developer, the development universe, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm in that side of the world. <laughs> What were we even um, talking about before Unity shit? Oh, VR Metaverse, yeah. Um, so something I hated about Metaverse too was like, I heard that they were like, oh, and you can bring in your own avatar from other from other things now, uh, soon. 
or it's not a feature yet, but maybe it will be soon. And I was like, yeah, well. you could literally bring in a dragon with three tits and a cock into VR chat. <laughs> Or well, you could be fucking Kratos yeah. if you wanted. They're gonna try. They're in competition with VR chat, so they're gonna pull out whatever they can. Well, like it, it's it's so them. funny because they made it sound like like it was this new thing, like no one's ever done it before in your life. But like it, it, the first example of this in general is just playing as your fucking me character in Mario Kart. Like, <laughs> like that's it's well, not to that be hard. Fair, like no idea was original until Mark Zuckerberg thought of it. So mm, right. you have to, you know, you have to really think about that sometimes. Right, right, All those right, ideas right. are really original. Um, <laughs> it's a joke. They're trying to make it into like a platform for businesses to use, and it's just okay. No one's gonna take this seriously. Nope. Yeah. Well, what's next? <laughs> um, okay, so this is one of your topics, Honks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking steal it right quick. Uh, yeah, Modern Warfare ahead. Three multiplayer trailer came out today. Yeah. Um, I'm in it for the bad, the, the baddies, and I've been like split. I've been like putting it at uh, what's like the lowest, uh, zero point two. What is it? Um, playback speed at zero point two, like. Pausing oh. and repausing and seeing who new characters are in it because that's all I'm really in for. Um, tons of new Milsim characters. There's a really cool um, Years Extend character, which is a fictional country within the Modern Warfare universe. He's super cool. Um, who's the bad guy? Who's the villain in the first Modern Warfare 2? Makarov? Um, it was the general. Not Shepard. Uh, maybe it's Modern Warfare 3. Let me see. 3. It is Macroft. Macroft is playable. And he's shown to be a playable operator. Which I have a theory on. It's like, if they're going to continue like the longevity of this game further out, they usually keep people alive to kind of have them resold later on, like how they did with Philip Graves in Modern Warfare 2. In the story, he was blown up it's like oh he wasn't in the tank after all so they had a purpose in reselling him into the battle pass so i'm thinking Macroff isn't going to be as big a villain as they thought or it's going to be a continuous thing like oh general grievous you know he always like fucking flies away after every other episode mm -hmm. i have a feeling it's going to be more towards that where Macroff isn't going to be the biggest villain in the game i have a feeling it's like oh it's something higher guys we all have to band together because it wouldn't make sense for you for uh say warzone you have like price and macroff in the same team because they're both gonna be conflicting you know what i mean so if the main villains in warzone are going to be um coney group which was the people in charge for macroff or people um below macroff it's like is macroff gonna go rogue i don't know i wish it wasn't such a big fucking issue in my mind but it is so in the original, like, Modern Warfare 2, the villains were Shadow Company, and they were in the campaign, but now, like, later on, they changed it to Coney Group. It's like, okay, but the next villains are going to be Coney, but Macroft's the leader of Coney Group. Right? Billy, your Let's knowledge on Modern <laughs> Warfare lore is just... I, beyond. I could care... I could, I'm sorry, I could literally not... Possibly care less. I, I holy like COD is for multiplayer. I just don't see like diving into the lore as much as you have for any reason. It's, or or even being like looking into like who's who's the leaked operators. Like it's not fucking Mortal Kombat. Like it's a roster like that. Like. I, I, I can't part, they all, all look but... the same to me. Some random fucking dude in in fucking military attire. Ah! <laughs> like what the fuck? Oh my god, it's it Ghost has... again. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, and it's really autistic for me to really 
dive into it. I, I think it's like, sweet to like have like to like love something as much as you do to like dive into lore and like have theories and stuff. That's the thing. I don't love it. I fucking hate it. I'm just waiting for one character to show up and that's it. I'm done. Mara. Mara. Yeah. I, okay, so I have a fucking okay. So one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> so there is three new female operators, which I like. Um, I freeze framed them, and you have to go super fucking slow with it. So I did. And there's one with a fucking low hanging ponytail. I'm like, that could be her. Black hair. She had the same kind of getup in the first game. Don't know yet. But there's another one. Brown hair. She has cool. It's like a fucking bun situation or braids. And I was like, damn, that looks cool too. And there's one with a fucking headband. I'm like. Damn, I can't wait. And you do get that information like on the sixth, because that's one's gonna happen like uh you'll see more of the characters that you can play as. It's gonna be a beta. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be releasing those things. Or releasing that more information about those characters. But they did the same thing for Modern Warfare 2. So they will do for Modern Warfare 3. But Are here's your the thing. All the Modern, Modern Warfare... Warfare 2 gonna transfer to Modern Warfare 3 this time. Yes, I was I was gonna get to that because all the characters are gonna be transferred over to Modern Warfare 3, right? So that comes with like bundles, operators, weapon packs, whatever. So it'd be more cost effective just to have those cop operators return back. But they're having new ones, which I'm excited for. So that's it. Wait, so Modern Warfare 3 is gonna be a completely separate game, but your stuff is still gonna transfer over? Yeah, because initially it was going to be um, a two-year-long game, but they're like, oh, fuck, that doesn't make too much money, so we'll have to justify 70 bucks and then add a bunch of new stuff into it. So I'm excited for the new stuff. I want to see the girls, I want to see the mill sims, and I want to see the in gameplay. Um, I'm all about the maps. I'm absolutely cool. It's it's all the original sixteen maps from the original Modern Warfare Two. That's got me. Because exactly. they're just reusing assets and they're charging you seventy bucks for it. Yeah, it's and not spit in your face and and expect you to life. say thank you. Like, come on, like and just get off. Kelly's gonna COD. say thank you. Just get off a of cod, man. It, if, else. if she's no, if she returns, I'm opening my mouth and thanking. <laughs> Um, zombies will return. I'm not buying that fucking game I release. Hell fucking no. I did that in Modern Warfare 2 and I got nothing for it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But zombies is gonna return. Uh there's gonna be a giant like giant wars or something like that, uh, for multiplayer. And of course Warzone 2, which might have a new map with it. That's it. That was my whole autistic spiel. <laughs> We're done. It's a good spiel. You really went off there. I popped it off. Why can't you be like interested in Halo? Who the fuck is interested in Halo? The lore of Halo, I in assure this, you, is this, so much more interesting than the fucking in lore this 3, of Call 4, of Duty. 3 economy. Hell no. I don't fucking know, man. I just think the lore in general is a lot more appealing. Is it? Once upon a time, I was interested in Halo, but <laughs> back in like two thousand eight. Wow. I liked it when Bungie was in charge and they had a set story going on for it. Got a Bungie fan. I was. I was playing Destiny, but then it was. Hey, uh, dipshit, you want, you want DLC? I'd trade you 50 bucks for it. You're yeah. trying to pay $70 for two new things. Me? Yes. I'm not buying that game if she ain't in it. I might eat my words later. Just depends. I know you're gonna but... buy that fucking game. You can't lie to me. You're probably gonna get the you're game. Gonna buy the I'm fucking... gonna get that game. You're gonna buy the fucking game. I already know. I'm not gonna buy that game. You didn't even you're play. You didn't even it. play Modern Warfare Two right now. I deleted it. Do you saw what the season is right now? No, I don't Spawn, care. Spawn, Skeletor, Ash Williams, the freaking motherfucker from Helsing. I thought you would have um, loved Ash Williams. Dante, or no, the Diablo characters. Like, hell no. That was a ramp from previous episode, but still, it ain't worth my time and money right now. So I'm actually like forgetting that we're in a podcast right now, and it's just like I, I, you just took me out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. how you get a good rhythm from doing that, though. For the love of God, let's move on. 
gonna move on. We can move on. Okay, on top of the video games, uh, Mini Royale. Have you guys seen anything about Mini Royale? Mm-mm. Seen that you could be you're like a toy soldier and you have to like open other toys to get guns. I think. Yeah, it's it's just a new fucking stupid battle royale that's trying to make a name for itself. And it's just little toy army men around a bedroom. I think it's a really cool concept. I've I've been following this like since cool. it like was like announced that it was like gonna be a thing. I've been seeing Lulu Lovely play it, and like she had like a pink <laughs> army skin, and like everyone around her was green, so everyone was just like whacking her or something with a baton. Yeah. Is it Mini Royale Two or Mini Royale Nations? I'm, I don't I, know. What I'm looking at. I didn't know there was a sure it's one. called Mini Royale. I feel like it was something else. Is it? So there's like three Mini Royales. Which one are you guys talking about? It says it's just called Mini Royale. It's called Hypercharged Unboxed. Or it's called Unbox Hypercharge. Yeah, Hypercharge. No, I'm looking at it here on Steam. It's just called Mini Royale. Fuck. It's the Army Men, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Developers Indigo Blue. Heard of that name. So you have to open up your, open up like enemies to get their loot. Is that what I'm getting? No, I think it's the same as Fortnite. Like when you kill them, all their loot just spreads on the floor. Okay. Well, this hasn't said a word this entire <laughs> episode. Please have some input. About what? About totally so I'm just going off to on a tangent, and then you guys keep going off, <laughs> <laughs> leaving no rhythm. We'll and then off. when I try it, and when I try to interrupt, I say and, and, and then I get ignored. Because oh. Kelly's still Fuck popping off. <laughs> Speak with your chest then. <laughs> Yell. Say the N word. Not on the podcast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I think it was cool. It seems yeah. like not a lot of people are knowledgeable about this topic. Yeah. Well, it's so... just come out. When... Is it out, out yet? I think it's out. Yeah. out. Oh. Looks like it's oh, been out. Oh, you have to request access. Oh, early access? Yeah, it's, it's early access out. right now. Um... Yeah, it should be out in quarter two of 2024. What the hell? Interesting. Um, about uh, how about the My Hero Rumble? That shit looks chaotic. Like, I feel like I couldn't take more than ten minutes of it. I mean, you don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that. But who would you main? Uh, I don't even know who the options are. I, don't, I haven't actually seen any Deku gameplay at all. I've only seen Bakugo, Uraka, fucking that one stone guy, All Might for some reason. Why are they all fighting each other? Aren't they friends? I think it's like a training program is how they explain it. Okay. Oh, is that Sam? Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. They said hi. She said I'm being sussy. And waved. No. Okay. Okay. Um. What makes um, games fun? Like. Yeah. So I brought. So uh, Alyssa and Kelly were talking before uh, we started the episode about. Um, already forgot the satisfactory. That's what it is. Oh yeah. yeah. So and Alyssa was saying that uh for her to make games fun, it's uh like the grind. Like she uh, likes the grind. like the grind and then for like an objective and completing that objective, usually you obviously get some reward of a fashion. Don't give a shit what kind of reward. 
I just need a reward. <laughs> <laughs> I need a treat for all I've done. <laughs> it's a gold like a sticker. reward. <laughs> Uh, what what makes yeah what makes a game fun for you guys? We'll start with Kelly. Women, moving on. Um, <laughs> what is it, Kelly? Pretty much, yeah. I like um I like new worlds. I like new perspective on certain ideas. Um, that goes for any story, but for video games in particular, um, I agree with Alyssa. Starting very small and then progressing up to where you're a fucking god in the game that you play is really satisfying. Um. Gameplay is also a must. Uh, it can't be a fucking like Telltale game. It has to be like you got to be zooming. You got to be fucking zooming in the game. I like fast paced shit with mm. amp music. If you feel like you're on like Adderall or something, ketamine. <laughs> you're on ketamine on this what shit. The That's what I want to feel. <laughs> like if you're playing, um, like there's a certain track in Cyberpunk, and it's so fucking fire. Every time you fight the Valentinos. I was like, da 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 da. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's why I always target them. They're so much fun to kill. So um, I was, okay, I was cranking my fucking shit so high, and when they had dialogue, because it was higher than the the music, I was like, uh, but it was worth it. <laughs> cool. What about the uh, what about uh, like Minecraft? That's like, that's like a good comfort food. Yeah. yeah, it's like a different kind of grind. It's a nonchalant one. Okay. Heck, heck, what is what is what makes a game fun for you? I actually I'm the opposite. I don't really like the grind. Like oh, you like being you like starting off all powerful. Yeah, like or at I don't least equal footing through the entire game. Yeah, like I kind of just want to like hit shit, kill shit, type of thing. Like, uh, I feel like the grind is kind of boring. Or, like, depending on how the game's laid out. Like, right now, I'm playing Pokemon, and the grind of training all my Pokemon to be strong is just, like, I right, can we get through it, get through it, get through it, get through it. It's, I don't know, it's tiring. I just want to hit shit. <laughs> Club's a fucking vanilla. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that makes sense. I like, I think at all, honestly, gr the grind is pretty fun. I think that that goes for like competitive and stuff like that. Like you get to show off like the grind by getting gold weapons and your rank in general, stuff like that. Um, I think like the challenge is where it's at for me is at least with what like I've been playing like Liza P and like Pokemon and stuff like that. Like, uh, shiny hunting is a challenge. Uh, I'm currently shiny hunting on Brilliant Diamond, which, if you guys don't know this, uh, shiny hunting a legendary. So you stand in front of the legendary, you encounter the legendary, and if the legendary is not shiny, you exit the game, close the game, start the game back up, and repeat that process until the legendary is shiny. The odds of a Pokemon being shiny is 4,096. So, would technically reset that many times. It has taken some people two weeks. It has ta taken some people two days. What'd you get out of it? Did you do A shiny it? Pokemon. No, I'm doing it right now. Jeez. Just, it's how long it's it just a different color Pokemon. Um, doing it for three days. I want to say like at least an hour, at least an hour each day. Are you going for like a charity or something? Like what? What's worth your time doing this? It is my favorite legendary of all time. I do not have a uh, shiny legendary Pokemon, and it might as well be my favorite one. Um, and I can bring it into the new Pokemon games, so I can see it in it in all its glory, actual size, pretty cool. It's just like a flex. It's just like it's like a trophy. It's pretty cool. For all your hard work, you now have a different colored fucking dragon. Okay. Could you trade it to someone for money? Possibly. I would no, God no. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? You think you How think much... I'm gonna waste yo, wait, wait, wait. you think I'm gonna waste two weeks of my life getting this different colored dragon just to send it to someone else? You got me 
fucked up. If I got two of them, maybe, but I don't know anyone who's paying for shinies, so I'm pretty sure it's just like your own grind. There might be a market for it. I it think might be, probably but I, I just don't really know how that would work, and I've never bothered looking into that. It's just like, at this point in my Pokemon, I have have like over 60 shinies now, and I was like, you know what? It's time to go for the big fish, and like this is the hardest one that I've had to do so far. Everything else has like been varying chal varying challenge, uh, but this one is the hardest for sure that I've ever had to hunt because it's just full odds. I could get it after odds. I can get it before odds. I can get it at odds. Whatever. Yeah. So it's a challenge. It's the grind. Lies of P. Hard, easy, hard. It really fucking depends on the area or what you have. I think it's really cool. Um, and I'm all about rewards. As long as they're worth my time. <laughs> yeah. You guys ever kill an enemy just to get, like, a stick? <laughs> <laughs> I've killed friendly NPCs to get a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was not fun. Like that that's fucking lame. I feel like someone does that just to fuck with you. Like that has to be the case, right? Like someone puts that NPC in there and they drop a stick just for you. <laughs> like they just to piss you off. Like they were one of the hardest people you fought in and you get a stick for it. This is like a like a Legend of Zelda thing? Did you just kill an enemy for a stick? Um, well, a stick is just an example. I don't know. It's like, like Elden Ring, like, or I guess Lies of P, like, you can kill, like, one of the mini bosses and it won't actually drop anything, which pisses me off. Because it's like, this dude just took away all my fucking health and now I have to get to the next fucking area with this. For nothing, yeah. You get like more uh, upgrade stuff, though, right? Not from not from some of them. It's just stuff like that. But the grind in general is is quite fun. I love me a good grind. <laughs> I love grinding. Yeah, I'm a grinder. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, what's next? <laughs> What's next? That was the... There's no way that was the last one. Well, at the list, but there's more we can talk about. Yeah. Tupac? Oh, Tupac. Mm -hmm. I, also I just, I just that saw that fish. Tupac. Yeah. yeah, breaking news. Breaking His murderer's news. been caught. Yeah, I saw really? like the uh... clip of the sheriff's department. And I was talking to this with Kenny, too, at work. I was like, I didn't really like the way he announced it. Like, he made it, he announced it like he was, like, the high school valedictorian, like, keep following your dreams and you'll achieve what you want. He's just like, hey, we got him. <laughs> like, that's what he sounded like. I mean, 23 years, I think it was. Yeah, sure, something to be proud about, but, like, he said, it sounded like he was way more like a triumphant moment than a, hey, we caught this killer in the family... Rest assured, I hope they can sleep better at night. It's uh, it's it's not like it's it, it wasn't like that. It was like a fuck yeah, got that fucking piggy, get him back like in Osama the pen. Bin Laden. They yeah, caught Osama bin Laden. they caught Osama bin Laden. Jeez, they just well, killed Osama he, bin Laden. Where was he at? I was no looking this whole place. time. I don't. Where was he? <laughs> <laughs> I, what the fuck is happening? Okay, <laughs> you lost me, dude. Um, I was looking for the whole time while I know that you're... I wonder oh if I was right. <laughs> I, I heard, like, a funny, like, thing where it's just like, what if Obama is the one that just killed Osama? Like, they found out where he was, and they just, like, fly a helicopter out with Osama, or with Obama, he just walks into Osama, he's like, uh, you're dead. And fucking clocks him. Yeah. Riveting conversation. Um, <laughs> Alyssa, why don't you bring up a fucking topic to say something? 
I was trying to talk about Satisfactory and you spoke for me. Oh, don't, don't talk to me to the rest of this podcast. We don't need to talk you about You spoke for <laughs> me after telling me to speak more. No, we, <laughs> no, I because you said that that's what you like about games. But was there any other thing, like aspect that you like about games? No, that's it. We'll talk about Satisfactory. No, it's okay. What? <laughs> You can't How are you gonna complain? Now, Come on. Or forever hold your peace, Alyssa. Uh, speak with your fucking chest. Um, what was that other game that was like, um, like grind style? Like you have to. Well, we compared it to Raft. It was like out in space on a different planet. You have to like start from scratch and make like your own fort and stuff and survive on a planet. That pretty much sounds exactly like Satisfactory. Is that what it's like? I think it was a different one. I am not Subnautica? Sure. Slime no. Rancher? I think it might have been Subnautica. Subnautica like is a... a single player game, though. And it's been out forever. No, it's not Subnautica. There's like a new Waterworld game coming out. Not World Worlds. Adjacent, or it out is in adjacent. space. Yeah, it was like on different planets. No, no, no that's the name. Out in space. Out I've space. in my wish list. Maybe it's it. I don't know. Actually, yeah, just kidding. It doesn't sound familiar. That looks like a multiplayer game. What anoids? Volcanoids? No. I don't know. Okay, well, this is a good wow, question. Totally. Um, how are you guys feeling about this year for gaming in general? Base you think this is, Do you guys think <laughs> this, this is like a really solid year for gaming? I think so. The game's, I mean, the year's almost out of the game. The year's almost over. I don't know about that. I, uh, I, I mean, so. it's already come out with some decent games, though. With, I mean, Hogwarts was good. Fuck JK Rowling, but it was a good game. Um... What else came out actually this Starfield. year? Starfield. Starfield. Right. Uh, Baldur's Gate, Jedi Survivor, Lords of the, the Fallen, Dead Space Remake, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Diablo, Diablo. 4, and Spider Man 2. Yeah. Yeah. All that. Yeah. Y'all, it's a great was, fucking year for gaming. Was God of War this year? God of War was last year. Um, Otherwise, I would have. Uh, I would. Yeah. I would have absolutely said. Yeah, last year, I'm pretty sure the biggest titles I can remember off the top of my head, Ray, God of War, and Elden Ring. Yep. We've been eating did you, good. Did you ever even finish God of War? Me? Weren't you playing it? Yeah. Oh, uh, I was playing it on uh, Ash's mom's PS5, so no, I have not. I was thinking about getting uh, the first one, the either 2018 or 2019 one. I don't yeah. know what year it was on my uh, PC. So I can play through that and then play through Ragnarok. That comes out. Pretty cool. You guys see the thing, uh, the promotional thing for 19 Inches of Venom? For what? For 19 Inches of Venom. No. <laughs> Inches, huh? Yeah, uh, there's like there is a Twitter post by Sony, and it was like a promotional for like the uh, pre-order bundle for Spider-Man Two, and you get like this really cool Venom statue. It's like 19 inches, but they worded it like, "Are you guys ready for 19 inches of Venom?" <laughs> <laughs> and like, and like they, so some people have been making like memes where it's just like. Miles and Peter like about to fight Venom, but like Venom has like a huge fucking dick, and Peter's like Miles, just don't look at it. <laughs> that that's gotta be intentional, right? I, I have no idea, but that'd be really. There's no way it went through a whole PR team and like marketing specialists, and no one picked up on it. It says treat yourself to 19 inches of Venom and more. <laughs> <laughs> insane <laughs> Jesus. it's a cool statue yeah i really yeah. want i think it'll be one of those statues i can go back and get later on it'd be rough we'll see it's like the elden ring pre-order pre-order with uh millennia you can 
still buy that statue, I think, even now. How much? Fuck, if I, like, 80 bucks, maybe? Which is super fucking worth it to me. I'd buy a Malay statue in a heart heartbeat. Hmm. So. No. <laughs> Does anyone have anything else to say? Wait, I had something. I have something too, but I'm going to wait for you. No, uh, you go. I am I lost it. I'm blinking. All right, guys. Get ready for this. Um, I did not sleep last night. I had about three hours. So I went down a very lengthy rabbit hole with the movie Mad Max Fury Road. Have you guys seen this one? It's the I've seen part of it. Like in the beginning or? Uh, more towards the end of it. Okay. So, here's the skinny. The movie was supposed to debut like back in 20, two, or 2003. It just kept going in like development hell. And they just kept adding more and more to it. So by the end, uh, when they were ready and set to have this uh, production go through, they were going to have a movie, an anime spinoff for Furiosa, and a video game. Um, so the production for the movie was fucking hell because they were originally going to have it scheduled in Australia, right? But, uh, there was a big ass flash flood and after that flood ended, it bloomed into a big old green area. So that couldn't work. So they had to ship all the cars and all the props over to a place in Africa to have that filmed. And that just pisses Warner brother off completely. Cause it's like, we're diving so much money into this fucking movie. We don't know if that whole three thing is going to work out. So um, after the movie is done and set, it did bring up a lot more money than I thought. So they started the production of the Furiosa show with Ani Taylor Joy, but that's been in development hell since like 2018. So we don't know what's going to happen there. But um, while they were doing that, they were giving out the license for Mad Max for a video game developer. And when they did, uh, they gave it to Avalanche Studios, and Warner Brothers is somewhat attached to it, but they did, were shaky on the future of the Mad Max going forward with Tom Hardy. So they were like, okay, we'll just make a Mad Max game in general. But by doing that, they stole a bunch of concepts for like future projects that makes it like spoilery, um, because they had access to scripts, concept art, and they just stole all of it to make this game. And it's not even into the same continuity as the Mad Max universe. And that was the latest Mad Max game. Yeah. Number two, autistic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, that that one's a little bit more interesting. I'll give you that. I just don't really understand like what's happening still. Oh. You gotta treat yourself to Mad Max. Mel Gibson, Mad Max, and two and three with Tina Turner. It's fucking witness, Bell witness. Yeah, and she has that one song. She's like, da, 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 da. that one's really good. Um, <laughs> so originally, Mad Max three was gonna be the end. They were having him killed off, but they didn't want that. So they had a script ready for Fury Road back all the way over there for Mel Gibson. But when they did that, um, it was well after like Mel Gibson. He's like in his 60s right now. So it's like that wouldn't fit too well. So they had to bite the bullet, hire a new actor. But he said that he was a cop and it's like 30 years into the apocalypse and Max was existing before that. He had a family. So when he had like someone the same age as Furiosa, it doesn't make too much sense. Um, but then they had to get a comic book to justify that because it's like, it's like, Oh no, the apocalypse happened in 20 in 2010. And it was like apocalypse started Mad Max two Fury road. And then Mad Max three, but still, he still looks like he's about 30. So it doesn't make too much sense. Yeah. You guys have to see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll pick it up. I I don't know what's happening. Um, like, what was the? What, did you figure, ever figure that out, buddy? No. <laughs> okay. Blank. Let's wrap it up there. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, let's just smile. 
<laughs> all right thank you guys for listening to this episode of camping buddies uh we hope you enjoyed this very very well thought out episode um we'll see you guys in the next one check out our streams check out our socials bye bye mm-hmm.